Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new video, one of the coaches at Unger Academy here. And uh, you know, since we're so close to Christmas, we'll undoubtedly find the film Trading Places on the Christmas movie list again this year. So today we thought that uh, it would be fun to uh, go and see the funniest scenes from that film from a technical perspective, uh, if you will, from a trading perspective. So don't miss these two scenes from the movie. Let's go check it out. Hi, we are the Unger Academy, and we teach traders how to make money in the markets. Our founder, Andrea Unger, had been struggling with trading for years until he developed his automated trading method, which he used to become the only four-time world trading champion. Subscribe to our channel for free tips and tricks. Let's hit rock bottom. Come on, let's buy. Mortimer Duke here. Buy 200 Maybelly contracts at 66.8. Put it on my personal account. <laughs> In this scene from the movie Trading Places, we see the Duke brothers purchasing 200 pork belly contracts. Interestingly enough, in the 1980s when this film took place, to place orders in the market, you had to call the broker who was in the market to place the order. I mean, today it's just a few clicks, as you know, and we can go to market in, in less than a second. But back then, well, the time was much longer. But I assure you that the prices still moved very quickly. Now, the trade in question was a purchase of 200 pork belly contracts for $66.80. Now, unfortunately, this contract was also listed on the CME at the time and remained on the CME until 2011, but it's no longer used. Uh, however, its close relatives, namely feeder cattle, lean hogs and live cattle, are still present and widely used by retail and non-retail traders today. And in the scene, we see that Billy Ray, played by Eddie Murphy in the film, tries to stop the purchase by claiming that the price would drop to $64, after which it would stop and then rise again. Now, in the next few moments, we'll see on the screen how the pork belly price does drop, saving the Duke brothers money. Let's go check it out. Do you realize how much money he just saved us? Huh. But how much did they save? Advise our clients interested in bellies to buy at 64. Mr. Valentine has set the price. Okay, so let's go and do the math. The contract in question with the ticker PB has a big point value or multiply of 400, just like the other products listed today on meats. And if we think about it, 200 contracts multiplied by $400 per contract equals $80,000 per point. The points saved are from 64 to 66.8, so uh, 2.8 points. So in a very short period, in a few minutes, the savings increased to over $220,000. The film, of course, it uh, ironizes the situation, but that's precisely how it was at the time. Now, Duke and Duke had immense purchasing power. Uh, 200 contracts were quite a lot, indeed, in, in those years at least. But it's interesting to see some of the dynamics. Even though they have improved, uh, digitalized, and became even more efficient, well, they still haven't changed. We want you to buy as much OJ as you can. The instant trading starts. Don't worry if the price starts going up. Just keep buying. Well, in this other final scene of the movie, which you should only watch if you've already seen the film so as not to spoil the ending, we see our two heroes, Valentine and Winthorpe, entering the stock market to make the Duke brothers pay. bastion of pure capitalism left on earth here in new york they trade everything gold silver platinum heating oil propane cocoa and sugar and of course frozen concentrated orange juice now as mentioned in this excerpt the exchange consisted of many pits where many other products were traded and in the case of our protagonists they were trading orange juice which as you can see in this image has different maturities like all futures the April maturity was the most liquid then, when our protagonists had to buy and sell, and then gradually, all the prices uh, of the other maturities. 102 <laughs> now, when the market opens, the happy Duke brothers do start buying, seeing that the price goes up enough to attract other investors, who jump in to take advantage of the situation. Now, that clearly couldn't happen today, because, as we know, everything happens online these days. Since the market opened, the last price reached is $132. Now, 
Now, that's a significant difference of at least 30% from the opening, which was $102. So the Duke brothers are rubbing their hands together right now because, well, their investment is doing pretty well. Now. So, you saw that Winthorpe placed a conspicuous short order, so a sell order, quite unlike the Duke brothers, hoping that the price would fall shortly after that. But as we'll see, Winthorpe and Valentine had a little trick up their sleeve, so we'll see how the markets react shortly when the crop yield data is released. Gentlemen, the orange crop estimates for the next year. After calculating the estimates from various orange-producing states, we have concluded the following. The cold winter has apparently not affected the orange harvest. And, lo and behold, as soon as the report was published, prices began to fall, to the delight of our protagonists, who had been short before this data was published. And only when the price continues to fall, they'll close their short positions. And again, lo and behold, when they started buying back their positions, the mark closed at $29. Uh, our two protagonists had shorted at $142 when the opening price was $102. So, yeah, a considerable profit, an outstanding profit, and one that will make the Duke brothers go bankrupt. Margin call, gentlemen. Well, you can't expect us you to... You know to... the rules of the exchange, Mr. Duke. All accounts to be settled at the end of the day's trading, without exception. You know perfectly well we don't have $394 million in cash. I'm sorry, boys. Put the uh, Duke brothers' seats on the exchange up for sale at once. And eventually the Duke brothers, who had taken too much of a risk, took some extreme positions trusting that the crop yield data would be on their side, and they too were insiders playing in the financial system. They eventually went bankrupt because the clearinghouse picked up the tab and seized all of the Duke brothers' assets. Well, we hope that you enjoyed this video, something a little different. Um, and if someone among you is interested in the world of systematic trading, I invite you to please go and click on the link that you can find in the description of this video. And from there, you can watch a free presentation by Andrea Unger, our founder, and the only four-time world trading champion in real money trading. Or you can get our best-selling book, The Unger Method, by just covering the shipping costs, or even please book a free strategic consultation with a member of our team. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like, subscribe to our channel, and go and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. We thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again soon in our next video. Bye-bye for now.